nasty. King Arc, also nasty. We're going into game one of their set right now. Um, so they're going to be playing on Battlefield. We saw this actually just last game between the last two players. And it is going to be uh, Duck Hunter versus Mega Man. No surprises here whatsoever. Um, no zoner matchup here. Um, and Zane, or sorry, Fawn. Gotta re 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 recalibrate my brain because I haven't seen people in a while. Um, and Fawn has just been so, so good at just maintaining um, I got a bit of maintaining uh, like ledge and advantage these like throughout this set. Man, I, 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 I think what Fawn's gonna be looking for a lot as long as Mega Man, Mega Man for a good portion of the match is looking for that lot of that control who controls the ledge and who controls the setups as well. Because yeah. both of them have, have really good projectile setups, yeah. albeit in their own different ways, but projectile setups nonetheless. Which we saw one on the ledge on this on the edge right the, there with ooh. the pressure bomb, but fortunately, Fawn gained the first dog off of King Art. King Art coming back in. Not getting anything off the yeah. up air, unfortunately, just coming off the danger platform. Fawn has just been so, 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 so good. And just maintaining advantage throughout this entire set. Um, or rather, nothing just that, but like this set, the last set that we've seen. Yes. Um, really, really just like, hasn't like, let up. Has maintained the momentum from the last set, and has just made it difficult. And like, you can make Mega Man's life really difficult and disadvantaged. While obviously not as obvious, like, as obviously exploitable as Cloud's recovery, Mega Man has a really exploitable recovery and disadvantage in general. Mega Man has a lot of trouble hitting the floor. Mega Man has a lot of trouble getting back to the stage if you cover it with long lingering hitboxes. Nice, this is coming, drop down really fast uh, with the fair of putting the cans up as much as they can and finally getting the stock for it. But King Arc, really dangerous position right now, coming in the air with fun, challenging with their own up airs and throwing the Mega Black back at King Arc. And the can, hello. Okay. Not gonna be able to catch uh, there with there, but the low end, uh, end leg on that move gonna be able to instantly catch uh, Mega Man jumping from much in there. Does fawn. They're looking to get um, a catch on the jump in there. However, oh, that was so, that was nasty. Nice. That was nasty. Nice. So um, <laughs> my favorite thing, fawn brings this up often. Uh, Clay Pigeon is frame one. Yes, uh, it is. Comes out frame. Well, the hitbox doesn't come out frame one. It, the uh, hitbox doesn't come out frame one. But the item comes out frame one. Mm -hmm. This is very similar to Snake, um, which does mean that um, you can combo people off of them grabbing you. It's very funny. Um, it's evil. It's too good. Okay. Nice. Ooh, and King Ark looking for that reset there off the air dodge. Okay, that dare not going to be able to hit the King Ark in that position. However, King Ark forced to just land back onto. <gasps> stays there. Oh, my God. oh no. Yes. Kay. Yes. Can set up into yeah. Forest Smash. Yep. So tough. Similar what we saw with Peko. However, however Peko didn't. Well, I'm sorry. King Ark didn't uh, have to deal with the can. Just dealt with a straight up Forest Smash. Yeah, and notice um, Mega Man doesn't really get a whole lot of mix from ledge, right? Um, it is tough for Mega Man to get back to stage a lot of the time. Um, and when Mega Man had Metal Blade in hand, which is obviously what you want to do in that position, but because Can is active, that kind of turns off Metal Blade as like a mix-up, right? Um, and allows uh, Fawn just to cover all that space with F-Smash and with Can, right? Um, so tough for Mega Man to get off Ledge in that position. Super duper tough. We're going to PS2, though, on King Arch's counter pick. Going to see what adaptations King Arc can make. That was pretty dominant by Fawn. That game um, really has looked so, so good in these past two sets. Okay. Yeah, just seeing that Clay Pigeon doing wonders. Oh, just knocking, knocking himself out of yeah. the Clay Pigeon setup that Fawn had set up for himself. King Arc coming in with a little bit. The scary situation okay. for themselves. Um, oh, okay, great. As I would, as I would think King Fawn, uh, King Arc needed King Fawn. King Arc needed. <laughs> I just mixed two together. Okay. Gonna be Clay Pigeon. Into another one. Catches the air dodge. Not gonna but be able to get the back air on the yeah. punish. All right. Now has to reset. The positioning of that can is so tough to deal with. Uh, Gunman gonna shoot the can off stage, allowing uh, King Arc to get back to stage. However, again, the can, which also comes out frame one, uh, allowing um, Fawn to get out of that position. King Arc trying to get back in, into center stage. Does right there with the, with the um, Metal Blade, but again, can being frame one allows Fawn to continue trading over and over and over. Oh god, that's spooky. That was like, the, you have to deal with, with Duck Hunt in front of you and the can right behind you. That was spooky. That was, that was, <laughs> King Arc does that earlier. It was like a, was like a Jaws and moment. And in front, like, oh. Gross. It's like a Jaws moment with the cans just slowly approaching behind it's you like, as, hey, as you're looking away. You either dash back and get hit by me or Fawn Bob beat you. 
Okay. So Fawn, again, just resets back to ledge there. Uh, can explode, not able to get any sort of combo off of it, um, and does get put back into disadvantage. Okay, the, the Crasher Bomb yep, there go. is going to force uh, Fawn, uh, who was trying to go low there, um, to lose that stock. Okay, this is big damage. Big 47%. So is set up right now. We have Gunslinger as well. Clip Pigeon coming out. And oh. down air, maybe coming okay, back yeah. the dog. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's... Uh, leaf show off to the ledge. Oh my god, that oh beats pellets. Oh my gosh. That's so hard to deal with. That just flat out like went right through every pellet that Mega Man just threw. Okay, that's going to be some damage. That's not going to be killing it just yet. The move is actually killing it towards like 200%-ish. Um, okay. Bad nice really air. Now you have to get back. Excellent air dodge by Fawn to get back to ledge. That and was such a good tomahawk. Oh, and that's like that again. When, when when two moves put you in hit, hits at the same time, the, the DI angle is really wonky and allowed for Fawn to get that stock off. Oh, just missing off the off the off, off the uh, upper off that combo that they have started. Okay. Ooh, getting sour spot off till that absolutely would have taken the stock. Okay, back here on there the ledge jump is going to be enough. Mega Man obviously can, can excellently utilize um, Trump into back air just because that back air is super duper fast. Okay, big damage here for King Arc. Quick 47% into some up air damage as well. And grabbing uh, Fawn right out of their, down, uh, their air dodge right to the floor. Yeah. And oh, that would have been a humongous yeah. had that fair connected, but it's okay, we're going to back throw. So leaving leave Fawn right on the ledge where Mega Man is really comfortable uh, edge guarding their opponents. But coming right in with a little bit of that uh, that grab animation into Fawn's own grab. Now we're kind of seeing Fawn's game right now, kind of taking advantage of the okay. ledge. And no, changing it, changing it back. Wow, that King. was okay. Arc and fair off into the blast zone. That, Hello. that is something that Mega Man absolutely does have in the matchup that I really haven't commented on a whole lot. Um, because Mega Man's recovery in terms of the height you get is very good. Mega Man is not nearly as threatened by the low can recoveries as every other character. And as soon as King Arc sees that Fawn is clicking can, he instantly goes for back air. That was a really funny kill screen. Yeah. So really well done mm -hmm. by King Arc in that position, especially after the momentum was very much in Fawn's favor for the vast majority of that game. Uh, that last stock really took it up a notch um, to take that stock. Going to see. Uh, Fawn's counter pick is going to be Smashville. Um, small stages, smaller side blast zones. Yep. Uh, should be very good for Duck and obviously Duck and getting the vast majority of the dog's kills on those sides of the stage. So we're going to see if Fawn can now make the adaptation after, you know, King, King Arc had a super duper strong stock. Man, Clay Pigeon is just good versus this character. He just keeps getting yeah. caught by it, but the Clay yeah. Pigeon, you, you can't really do much about it until you like SDI out of, it, out of the range of it, of course. Yeah. But it's just really difficult for Mega Man to deal with it. Uh, it's not knowing that Lemon Pellet, that the uh, Lemon Drop do nothing, absolutely nothing against it. You know, yeah, they go just, they disappear. <laughs> and I've seen on several occasions, it just looks like it, lo like Leaf Shield just loses to it. Okay, this is great positioning here for King Arc. Yep, yeah, wow, go. that's so... Okay, you're back. Okay, I was about to say. Both and players high are back. Dodge. Wow. Yeah, I, I did not expect... One of them had to have gone. I was, I was expecting, but... It's all right. Both of them have really good recovery options anyway. Uh, yep. Smart on Fawn for air dodging right to the ledge. And back here we air. go once more with a clay pigeon into back air. Setting up for Can on the edge. Oh, nah. my gosh. And the, the utilization out. of yep. up air in that position to force the Can to stay a ledge was so good. Just really made King Arc second guess what the recovery option was going to be. And Misty Eye, the down throw there to allow Fawn to get that stop. Taking a little bit of a trade with the Can explosion to get more percentage on King Arc. And using Can as a kind of barrier for while they per while they uh, come, back to but come back to the stage safely. Okay. We're back to ledge. Okay, again, wow, just been so tough for King Arc to deal with that clay pigeon. Fawn just forcing it constantly, allows uh, them to just retreat like away from Mega Man as well. Okay, not gonna be able to go low that time around and it's going to cost him just a little bit of percent. Uh, and we're back to neutral once again. Again, Duck is one of those characters does not have to play center stage, right? Can play from the ledge really, yep. really well. And it's just been made it so difficult for King Arc to really get anything going here because as soon as Duck Hunt gets off of ledge, Duck Hunt's back in neutral, right? Yeah, it's just Pinger is having a difficult time. Also, the stage foot section in general. Miss Trump, yeah. 
<laughs> the stage selection in general is very difficult for Mega Man. As you said earlier, this is a really good pick for Duck Hunt. Gets him a lot of space, can move around, maneuver, and set up a lot of hand uh, um, combos. Just like this, where Duck Hunt can really just carry Mega Man across the entire stage with Clay Pigeon yeah. into back air. And because the stage is so small and you are close quarters, you have less time, less space to really deal with Clay Pigeon. And we've seen how difficult it is for King Arc to deal with it uh, here. It's been brutal, um, to say the least. This might be a three stock. Okay, no, 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 no a three no. stock. Back it couldn't come out. Um, see that stock off. Just waiting on the can, not gain the same setup that they were able to get earlier, but that... Oh, sour spot, okay. Not yet. Th that oh, setup wow. is so good, I cannot... Oh, wow, okay. Stop. We're back, okay. we're back, we're back. We're back. <laughs> um, Okay, wow. Actually, you caught that there. Up air is going to be enough. Yeah. Um, yeah. That setup is so good. The utilization of up air from the can off the ledge by Fawn is brilliant. It's so good. It covers so much space. It lingers so long. It makes the, the can go at an angle that is so good. I love it. I love to see it. Yo, is that Pete Bro in the chat? Hi, Pete Bro. Welcome. Also, thank you, Helper, for the sub, of course. Uh, but want to welcome you back. I'm gassed today, y'all. I, I taught children all day. I'm tired. But we're at Zeno 251.